There are times you want to just cut loose, gripping and ripping a handful of throttle of your RC car truck, slipping and sliding around a corner, counter steering to try to see just how far and how fast you can push it. There are other times when you want a more precise, dialed in feeling, when you want to have a more locked in feel around a corner, when you might need a little bit of help clearing that jump. Well, Horizon Hobby and Spectrum are here with AVC active vehicle control and with active vehicle control it helps you kind of reduce the learning curve to driving an overpowered quite often car or truck in traction limited circumstances. AVC is compatible with just about any 1 10th, 1 8th and oh yeah even the 1 5th scale giant vehicles like we have here in the low C 5T. There's two different ways that you can dive into the world of AVC. One is with a vehicle like what we have here with the Losi Triple X SCT brushless. It comes equipped with an AVC receiver out of the box. You don't need to add anything. We do also offer the Spectrum SRS 4210 open stock receiver. And with this receiver, you can add AVC to any existing platform. The 5T from Losi, this big giant fifth scale monster, you can add AVC to it. 100 mile an hour supercars, you can add it to those too. Or even just your casual backyard bashers that you want just that extra level of control. With either system, either the Ready to Run or the SRS 4210, it allows you to hook your vehicle up, like I mentioned, in more traction limited circumstances without having to worry about do I have the skill to push my car or truck this hard. The system makes adjustments at a faster rate and pace than ever humanly possible. It helps make you a better driver and again, hook up more power sooner. So like I mentioned, we have the Losi Triple X SCT brushless with ABC here and I'm gonna grab the transmitter and give you a real quick look at how the system works. And we'll pull the body off and set it aside. Power the transmitter on first as you should always do and power the truck on. We're gonna wait a few seconds because the system needs to initialize. Basically, the AVC technology needs to center itself out. It needs to know where its zero point is to go from there. After a few moments, I can wiggle the tires. I have steering, I have throttle control. Now, as I turn the truck towards the camera here, you'll notice the steering is trying to keep the truck pointed back in its original direction. That's part of what's called heading hold. With heading hold, it's always working to keep your truck going in the direction that it started going. If I'm going towards the camera, the system will do everything in its power to keep going towards the camera. If I'm going to the left or the right, same thing there. However, it doesn't take over your inputs. I can still override ABC. So again, I'm gonna turn it this way. I don't wanna go that way. I now wanna go back to the left. I can turn the wheels and as you see, I can override the system. You can also adjust and tailor AVC to your particular driving needs. With the transmitters like what come with the ready to runs, there's a knob right here that you can increase or decrease the amount of AVC priority on the system. With radios and transmitters such as the Spectrum DX4C, DX4S, and DX4R Pro, there are enhanced menus that can further help you dial in your system. With ABC technology, it reduces the learning curve to allow you to go out and be dialed in at any speed. You can have more fast fun faster. We invite you to go out, check out SpectrumRC.com to learn more about ABC technology. Make sure too that you subscribe to our YouTube channels to stay up to date on all the latest news, reviews, and information regarding ABC, Spectrum technology, and all the news and happenings with Horizon Hobby. Please also feel free to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash horizon hobby and facebook.com slash spectrum RC. We hope this has helped provide just a little bit more information on AVC. Now go out and have some fun with hobbies.